Hey guys, today I'm going to do a product review of the Bose A2 headset, which I have used for many years. And I'm also doing, going to do a A2 ear cushion replacement. So I'm really excited that I'm going to can that I can continue to use my Bose headphones because after using them for a couple years, like the ear cushion kind of peeled off. But I'm going to show this to you in a second. But before we start, actually one last thing. Uh, maybe you're new to my channel, so I just wanted to quickly let you know I've created um, some online training courses and in these training courses there are some really awesome case studies that I've collected over the last two years and really, really researched them uh, because I really felt online business training that is kind of like left out in, uh, in business school. So in any case, um, if you subscribe to my channel and you head to my channel page, there should be a link somewhere you can follow where you can learn more and uh, try those case studies for free. And with that, I uh, updated you on what else you can find on my channel. And let's just go get back to this AE2 unboxing and review. And let's get started. So guys, and like promised now the review and repair of the Bose AE2 uh, headset. I mean, the first thing that maybe I can take this out of this bag right here that I have to say, I like the sound quality of the Bose product in general and maybe I zoom in a little bit for you here. And these headphones, uh, I'm very happy with them. They uh, served me for maybe like three years or something. But then I noticed, and maybe you have noticed this too, uh, it seems to be an issue with a lot of headphone manufacturers, not just Bose, uh, that for some reason this uh, soft uh, cushion material uh, starts to somewhat uh, peel off. And that's very, very unsightly and not very nice if this material peels off. Um, because if it peels off, it's just all over the place and you have it uh, on your ears or on your head and flying around everywhere. And I just wish they would have, the headphone uh, manufacturers in general, would have a way to make this more durable. Um, in my case, I already removed, see, I have this all over my hands, I already removed the ear cushions because the ear cushions uh, were much worse than this top part. So that's why I'm going to replace, replace the ear cushions because otherwise those are perfectly fine headphones. They still work. Um, I have like the, the volume controls here. I have the microphone and those were expensive microphones. It's not cheap microphones this, because they are both uh, uh, headphones. Uh, I want to continue to use them, but why, why, why not make them last longer? And it's also one unfortunate thing that I found. I mean, while I can replace the ear cushions, I cannot replace this top part. So now I'm gonna have new ear cushions and after two and a half years, probably the same thing is gonna happen um, unless they change the material for some reason and made it more durable, which I, I would be surprised if that's the case. So the ear cushions are okay, but this is still gonna continue to peel off. So I still gonna have to deal with all this uh, material flying around everywhere, which I honestly, I found that super annoying. But hey, um, maybe it's not Bose's fault. Maybe it's a supplier, yeah? Maybe there's one big supplier that supplies all the headphone manufacturers with this, with this material, um, who knows? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and then install it in here and then check the results. And guys, if any of you has the same issue, um, the repair is really, really easy. You can remove this very easily. And then when you insert the new ear cushions, it's just like, it just uh, carefully put it in place and press a little bit and then it should snap in place. I mean, it's all explained in the manual. I'm just gonna quickly take this out here. Um, and guys, maybe those here, uh, I think they call it scrim. The scrim is the black cloth inside the ear cup, which covers and protects the ear cup components. Uh, mine are still somewhat okay, so I'm gonna keep those for later because these ear cushions, I think you can take them out and replace these scrims later on as well. So I'm gonna use my scrims for a little bit longer. Um, and yeah, you see, this is a, like the full material. Like a, uh, it, it is a really nice material when it is new but I bet you in two years it's gonna fall apart again, which is kind of like, oh my God, the company's really using me as, as, a, as a replacement part cash cow. Um, that would be really, really not nice if that is done intentionally with this peeling off. But like, who knows? 
So I'm just gonna align this from the bottom and then gently press it in. And basically what I did, I went uh, step by step around these edges and pushed the, the, uh, the ear cushion so that, it, uh, so that it snapped into place below these tiny, I mean, you see there's like a, these tiny, I don't know how you call it, where, where it uh, holds it in place. So that's how it looks repaired. And now I'm just gonna put in the second one and then I'm gonna do some listening tests. So guys, I just took a short listening break um, and maybe I, I just lunging around and listening to these headphones for half an hour. And wow, I mean like, wow, I totally forgot how exceedingly comfortable those headphones are. And the ear cushions are super soft. I mean, I, I really enjoy those a lot. And the sound quality, I really forgot because like, I had actually, to be quite honest, I hesitated to do the repair for at least a year or so. So they were just lying around an entire year and I was not using them at all. And instead I was just using earbuds. But boy, do these sound so much better than earbuds. And I remember when I, uh, by the way, greetings fly out to uh, my programmer friend in Thailand. Um, I remember I bought, actually I picked those uh, Bose headphones up while I was in Japan. And my next door neighbor at the same time, he bought himself some Sony's while I bought the Bose and I remember like comparing the Sony's and the Sony's were significantly bigger and heavier but the Sony's really pulled some punch in the bass uh, and the Bose that I picked they're like I mean you can see they're like really lightweight uh, and that's why I think they are so comfortable because they are lightweight um, and they also have like a, a lighter a crisper sound I think like they have like a more fidelity kind of sound um, so with that, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put these on and I have my iPhone right here and I'm just going to quickly jump into the app for voice recordings right here and then I'm going to record a quick voice memo and uh, let you listen to the sound of the Bose uh, headphones uh, because obviously uh, listening uh, sound wise when you listen to them, you just got to trust me, they sound super crisp and they are super lightweight. Uh, they may not have that much bass, so if you're looking for a pair of headphones that has a lot of bass, the Bose might not be the perfect choice for you. But if you want something that's exceedingly comfortable and like has like this really soft, crisp sound, uh, the Bose are awesome. So I'm just going to hit record and then we're going to switch the soundtrack here. Uh, and right now you see I'm recording and you hear the sound of the internal mic here at the control unit. Now granted, there are also Bose AE2 headphones that I believe didn't have that control unit. Um, so there you could potentially save a little bit of money, but I really like the control unit so that I can maybe answer a call or something like that. So this concludes the recording test of the built-in microphone. And yeah, this concludes the review of, uh, of the Bose headphones. And if you want, on my channel, I have plenty more reviews of audio equipment. I also have recently done the Plantronics uh, headset, so you might want to check this out. I can show this to you here. And other than that, um, check out these free case studies that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. They're super awesome. Learn, if you want, you can quickly learn how to potentially, if you're interested in building a passive income online, um, I'm going to share my two years of insights with you. So I see you in the next video and a subscriber on my channel. Stay awesome and I see you uh, again soon bye bye and yeah guys just uh, like i mentioned a minute ago uh, make also sure if you like this video of the bose headphones i'm guessing you're also gonna like the review of the plantronics headphones uh, those are really interesting headphones and why don't you check this out as well and finally because you watch this video until the end i'm also going to give you free access to the most amazing success case studies that I collected over the last two years that show how people have created success in a digital age. I see you next time. Take care.